Welcome to the installation video of Hoi Miles 2-in-1 Microinverter and Flex Accessories. This video consists of four chapters, overview, preparation, product instruction, and system installation. You can refer to the user manual if you need more information. Please note that only those who have been properly trained or who demonstrate relevant skills can install and maintain this microinverter under instructions. In this video, we will guide you through the installation process of a 3 kW PV system, which is composed of 3 HMS 1002T microinverters, AC trunk cable which is built by Flex Accessories, and 6 solar panels. Now, let's take a look at the tools that we are going to use. For installation tools, we need electric screwdriver, diagonal cutter, wire stripper, crimping tool, torque wrench, and steel tape. For personal protective equipment, we need helmets, gloves, overalls, and safety ropes. As for other auxiliary tools, we need M8 bolts, tie wraps, grounding accessories, marker pen, grounding cable, DC extension cable, and 3-core AC cable. The microinverter accessories we will use are HMS ceiling cap, HMS connection cable, HMS extension connector, HMS trunk connector, HMS connector, and HMS disconnect tool. Before we start, let's take a look at the products that we're going to use. The microinverter installed in the video is a 2-in-1 model. There is a parameter label in the middle where you can see the microinverter serial number. On the top right is the AC connector. The lug below is the sub-1G wireless antenna. The outlets on both sides are DC connectors and the screw hole in the middle of the handle is used for grounding. In this installation, the AC trunk is composed of HMS ceiling cap, HMS trunk connector, HMS connection cable, HMS extension connector, and AC and cable which is built with HMS connector. Specifically, the opening in the middle of the HMS trunk connector is connected to the microinverter AC connector, and the ends on both sides are used to connect the HMS connection cable. Please note that there is a circle or triangle mark on each end of trunk connectors and connection cables. You must ensure that the ends with the same mark are engaged. Any unused ports should be covered with the HMS ceiling cap. When the distance between two microinverters is too far, you can either choose a longer connection cable or use extension connectors to join the connection cables together. The HMS connector is used to make the AC and cable which wires the PV system into the distribution box. The HMS disconnect tool is for removing ceiling caps, taking apart connectors, and removing microinverters. The open ends are for tightening and loosening nuts. Now, we can start the system installation. First, Mark the appropriate installation location of the microinverter according to the PV module layout. Fix the nuts at the predetermined place on the rail. Hang the microinverter on the screws and then tighten the screws. The silver cover of the microinverter should be facing the panel. Then, Root a continuous grounding cable through grounding accessories of each microinverter to the AC grounding electrode that conforms with local regulations. Next, take out the HMS trunk connector and connect the microinverter to it until you hear a click. Then cover the unused end with the HMS ceiling cap.
Select the HMS connection cable of a suitable length and plug it into the HMS trunk connector until you hear a click. When connecting HMS connection cable and the HMS trunk connector, please make sure that the marks on the engaged ports are the same. Now, let's move on to the next microinverter. Plug the microinverter and the HMS connection cable into the HMS trunk connector. Due to the long distance between the second and the third microinverter, the HMS extension connector is needed to join two HMS connection cables. You can also use a longer or customized HMS connection cable. Perform the same process on the last microinverter, and then we can start to make the AC and cable. First, prepare an AC cable of a suitable length. The cable should cover the distance from the end of the AC trunk cable to the distribution box. Before stripping the cable, Please check if any items from the package are missing and then slide the parts onto the AC cable in the correct order. Strip off the outer jacket with a diagonal cutter. Then use a wire stripper to strip the insulation to a suitable length. Insert the terminal pin into crimping tool and crimp it tightly. Next, insert the crimp wires into the wire holder until you hear a click. Please make sure that L, N and PE lines are in the correct slots. Plug the fixed wires into the HMS cable connector until you hear a click and firmly tighten the nut with the HMS disconnect tool or a torque wrench. Connect the AC and cable to the last HMS trunk cable connector until you hear a click. Then fix the cable with tie wraps. Finally, peel the serial number label from each microinverter and affix them to the corresponding place on the installation map. Now, let's connect the PV modules. Please determine whether you need DC extension cables based on your situation. In this project, we used extension cables for some modules. First, place the PV modules onto the rail and connect the DC extension cables to the PV modules. Then connect the microinverter to the DC extension cables. Finally, move the PV modules above the microinverter and fix them. Repeat the above steps to connect all PV modules. Now, we need to connect the AC and cable to the distribution box. Please note that the grid connection and system energizing shall be performed by professionals after obtaining the permit from the grid operator. Connect the distribution box to the local grid to complete the microinverter installation. Don't forget to go through the checklist to see if every step is done. Thanks for watching.